Hi friends. You are watching Discovery Agriculture YouTube channel. If you're not yet subscribed to our channel, please subscribe now. In this video we will give complete informations about housing and requirements for of dairy animals. Animal housing is required to protect the animals from inclement weather, provide clean, comfortable stay for good health of animals and for efficient management. Inadequate and improper planning results in additional labor charges and increased costs in maintenance of sheds. Adequate housing to animals is aimed at increased milk production, better labor utilization, better health of animals, disease control, better care, and management of animals resulting in production of high-quality milk in a remunerative price and better profit of the farm. Several types of housing are available. The farmer has to select the suitable housing system keeping in view the local environment and economic status. Minimum investment should be put towards housing of animals by utilizing the locally available materials for construction of roof, floor, and walls without compromising the comfort of animals. Measures to be considered while constructing a housing. The house should be properly ventilated. Animals should get adequate sunlight. The availability of water, electricity, garbage dumping areas. The shed should be away from industrial areas. Strong building construction. Construction should be such that it should be easy for milking animals cleaning floors, feed, and water cattle. Sub-buildings to be considered while construction. Milking barn, while milking process can be done. It is fully covered barn in which milch animals are milked and located at central place with all other buildings around it. The length and width of standing space depends on size of animal and range from 1.5 to 1.7 meters in length and 1.05 to 1.2 meters in width. The width of central passage shall be 1.5 to 1.8 meters. Two continuous feed mangers on either side of shed with a 0.75 meter wide feeding alley beyond each manger. A shallow U-shaped drain about 20 centimeter wide is located on either side of central passage. The roof of shed should be gabled. The eaves of roof should be at least 50 centimeters away from side walls. Large open spaces may be left on side walls. Milch or dry animal shed, it's the simple shed for rest of animals. The sheds are for housing milch cows and dry cows separately. These are simple sheds comprising a closed area and adjoining open paddock. The covered area should be preferably cement concrete. Brick on edge or stone shed flooring or conker or murum flooring can be used for open paddock, brick on edge better one. Calf shed. The calf shed are constructed nearer to the milking barn. The dimensions of calf sheds depend on the number of calves to be housed. If large number of calves are present then calves of different age groups should be housed separately for better feeding and management. Bull shed. The bull shed should be located towards one side of form with one bull for shed. The bull shed can have covered area of 3 into 4 meter with an open paddock 120 square m. One bull is required for every 50 breedable cows in case of natural service. Feed stores. It is required for storing concentrates. There should be one concentrate cum feed mixing room at a distant place and a small feed ration room near the milking barn. The feed room must be damp free and rodent proof. The size of the room is based on the assumption that 0.2 meter storage space is required for each adult unit. Under Indian conditions trench silos are convenient. It is constructed by excavation in the hard ground and floor and sides are lined with cement concrete or brick or stone slab which are seepage proof. Hay or straw shed. Shed with walls on three sides are better for storing of hay or straw. The shed should be away from animal sheds because of fire hazards. Floor space requirement for different types of animals. This table gives information on floor space requirement for different types of animals. According to this list, cows, bulls, buffaloes, and calves need different floor space. The height of shed is 175 cm in medium and heavy rainfall and 220 in dry areas. Arrangement of cattle in double row housing. Tail to tail system and head to head system. These are the advantages of tail-to-tail -tail system. Less spread of disease, easy for milking, cattle gets fresh air from outside, easy for cleaning, animals in heat can be detected. These are the advantages of head-to-head -head system. Feeding is easy, 
easy displaying of cattles for visitors, animal can enter shed easily, gutters will be dry as it is exposed to sunshine. That's it. Hope you like this video. Share this video with all friends and don't forget to subscribe Discovery Agriculture YouTube channel. Thank you for watching this video.